Spike Factory meta, hello, hello, hello. Is Spike Factory meta in battles too? Where's the balloons community of Spike Factory's meta? And over 70% of you said no. That means the majority of the community either is unaware of the Spike Factory's power or that when the players vote on these polls, they're voting based on whether or not the tower is like popular or something. Instead of whether or not it's actually like powerful. This isn't wrong of them to vote like that. Meta has like multiple meanings for the community at the moment. Now, the Spike Factory is a solid mid to late game option in Season 3. It acts as like a solid anti-rush defensive option, and it does that by forcing your opponents to all in very early, or like wait until the deep late game when the Spike Factory begins to fall off, usually around like rounds like 30 plus or something. It hasn't seen as much usage as other towers, however it's seen a much higher win rate compared to other towers, at least in my testing, so I personally think the Spike Factory performs well. A community member also noticed that the Spike Factory has a strong late game ability, and it's a good option for players looking to go deep into late game in season 3. That spike storm ability is nice. Another commenter noticed that spike factory seems to be a pretty balanced overall tower. Nesting itself is one of the hidden hand strategy options that can often be other strategies. Now because of all of the above, I'm unable to say that Spike Factory is meta in Season 3 due to the majority of the community not believing in its abilities, but it's still a very strong tower at what it does. And what it does is defend against DDT, All Ends, Rainbows, and other common Bloom Wave. Like with that middle path ability is just very, very strong for how much it costs. And not only does it defend well, but it also forces your opponent to invest much more into their Bloom Wave attacks, and it often causes them to just not rush you at all. It's still a relatively new tower as well, like not many people run it, so a lot of people don't know how to play against it in season three at least in the early part of season three some people run it with ninja and alchemist and i've seen that perform really well at high tier arena it's a tower that makes playing the game feel a lot more secure when you run it it has a lot of fun late game gameplay with its abilities and with its top path mind it can defend against round 18 all-ins round 28 all-ins and things like that so it's very commonly going to be seen at the higher tier arenas in season three if people choose to continue running it overall i'm curious to see where the community's belief of this tower goes as we progress into season four thanks for watching